Okay, we're here with Brandon Adams, 154 pound title challenger, getting ready for a big fight against Sergio Boca Chick and Puerto Rico March 4th. Yes. March 4th. Um, big opportunity for both the young men. The winner can go on to very big things within the 154 pound division. Um, tell us about training camp and uh, what you did to prepare for a fighter like Sergey. Uh, and I just stay focused. I just stay focused upon the development of myself. You know, everything else to fall in. You can't, I mean, you can get guys who can, you know, try to emulate the guy that you're going to fight. But in reality, yeah, I'm saying, you don't have to make those adjustments when you go fight. So I was just more so focused upon developing and building myself versus, you know, worried about what he brings to the table and who he is. Just like every man, yeah, I'm saying, he's a man. He's going to punch. It's the right punch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, I hear he's strong. I, I see he. You know, he likes to bring pressure. That's, you know, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. But as far as everything else, you know, everything else is for adjustments. Which is nothing new to you. You went 12 rounds with Jamal Charlo at 160. Um, this is at 154. So I guess uh, he brings some of the elements that Charlo brings in terms of the power. Um, what what can you use from that fight against? Well, Sergio? we have yet to see that. We we not 100% sure uh, if he actually legit bring that same power that Jamal's brings. Uh, you know. Uh, the guys that he fought, you know, versus the guys that Jamal fought, you know, um, that's a huge difference. That's it. So, uh, you know, when it comes and boils down to it, man, it's just, just more so of me just staying focused upon me, developing myself and, and, and growing within myself and also in the sport of boxing. Mm -hmm. He had the opportunity to get a fight in before this fight. He had the COVID, so he had to kind of quarantine and all that. But um, how do you think that's gonna is that is that gonna help you going into this fight or, or do you take that of any kind of significance? It revved the engines, uh, definitely because you know uh, I did have some time off. You know, it's no secret to that. But you know, uh, I got the opportunity to fight uh, December third and took advantage of that. I prepared myself for that fight. I was prepared to fight him before you know he came down with the sickies, uh, the sickness. So, I mean. I was looking forward to the fight then. It, it hasn't changed now, you know. Uh, I'm just, you know, I, I, I would say I'm, I'm just a little more focused than I was yesterday. And, and, you know, I couldn't be more proud of myself of that, you know. And, you know, each one teach one and we all grow from that. What do you think is going to be different in this fight? Obviously, you feel that um, Jamal Charlo is the more proven fighter, but with Sergey, uh, what, what are you going to take from that experience of fighting an elite fighter like Jamal Charlo and then Sergey, up becoming a young fighter who looks like he's the goods? Well, uh, it was a lot of things that took place before I fought uh, Jamal. This time around, I don't have those same issues, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I'm, I'm just looking forward to the fight. Like, this time around, I'm, I'm, I'm not bombarded with the fact that like uh, it was a big you know a uh, big thing for me my son was born right before I fought Jamal he was born seven months and not the mm -hmm. full term so you know you got you got, I got stuff that's on my mind right before I go fight the biggest fight in my career this time around my son is about to turn two you know what I'm saying Ain't no kids in the oven baking that we know of so yeah. I'm completely fine you know what I'm saying I'm great I'm grateful you know what I'm saying uh, it's an honor to be able to fight on uh, NBCSN so you know just just prepared for today and, and, and keep doing that until the day I'm called to actually get in there and fight. That's it. In Puerto Rico, ever been to Puerto Rico and are, are you excited to fight there, man? And yeah, I, I'm super excited to go to Puerto Rico and go fight uh, because I've never fought there, one, and then two, I know there's a lot of legends there. You know, boxing is, is you know, is strong there and the fans there, they appreciate boxing. So I plan on going out there and making sure that the fans appreciate me that night to fight. Mm -hmm. Jamal is uh, having a back and forth with uh, Jared Hurd. If you've seen that man, what do you, what do you think of that? Of uh, such a matchup? Jamel, man. It's Jamel, Jamel, Jamel. 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 Uh, uh, Jamel. You know what, man? Like Kermit the Frog said, that's none of my business. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't pay close attention to uh, the media work. I, I try to stay from that. If it's not me being positive or trying to speak life into myself, the sport, or just individuals, then I kind of don't want to ever pay, take part in that. Uh, just because, you know, I'm on my own mission, doing my own thing, mm -hmm. trying to make sure that I pave the way. So maybe somebody will get behind me and do the same thing, and then we're going to keep that trail rolling. Mm -hmm. They're in your division. That's, uh, keep, 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 an, keep an eye on them. Well, maybe if, to, if the to, fight happens. To some and, degree, you know what I'm saying? See, yeah. my, my job is to focus upon becoming a better me, right? But then my team, their job is to make sure, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and see what's going on, you know what I'm saying, if there's any uh, 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 creases in armors and stuff. So I'm supposed to just focus completely and solely upon myself and make sure that when we do get these calls and all these other things, you know, I'll be there ready, you know, to, to do what I need to do to push me to the next level, to the mm -hmm. next 
you know what I'm saying, uh, the next go round. Yeah, for sure. Uh, tell the fans where to follow you on social media. Don't follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I don't do Twitter. You don't do Twitter. No, uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's Cannon Nation. Brandon the Cannon Adams on Facebook. All right, cool. Thank you. We are. Blessings.